One of these hosts is about to die in the woods. It's the Pod Damn Idiots Podcast. Space is the final frontier. Then this is just the pit stop at the rest area that is near. It's the Pod Damn Idiots Podcast. It's the Pod Damn Idiots Podcast. It's the Pod Damn Minutes Podcast. It's the Pod Damn Minutes Podcast in your ear. If space is the final I'm not, I'm not letting you sing this acapella Alright front This like, is this. just the pit stop At the oh, rest yeah. area That, that is, is near, near. <laughs> It's the pod damn idiot podcast It's the pod damn idiot podcast <laughs> It's, it's the Pod Damn Idiots Podcast. It's the Pod Damn Idiots Podcast. In your ear. Fit it in your soundboard this time. Pod Damn Idiots. Pod Damn It. Dun, 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 dun. From the woods in the Wisconsin Dells, two strange places in the state of Michigan. And our favorite, crazy, comfy, hot, humid, scorpion-filled room in San Marcos, Texas. This is the Pod Damn Idiots Podcast. Ah. Do you have a scorpion this year? <laughs> All right. Yeah, we'll see if there's a scorpion around here somewhere. It seems like the last three weeks has had something to do with a scorpion in your house. Scorpion terrorists. <laughs> scorpion terrorists and peacocks. <laughs> hey, Hizzle is in the woods getting uh, attacked like one of those bad horror movies. He may it's die, true. he may not. We may be three men next week. Who knows? Across, across town at the B-Slow PD, we got B-Slow. I'll be back. And he's gone. He's the next one to die. <laughs> And you're the heavier of the two of us, so you're the next one to go. That's Texas over at the Southern Charm Studios. Thank you, Chuck. I think I'd be the first one to go because the murderer would get me first. No, because he's already in the woods, so he's the first one to go. Oh, okay, that works. And over here at the All In Studios, yeah. it's Rick Spade. Ooh, oh, yeah. Right um, I might have found my murderer already. See, he's already going to die. Is that Amanda? She's very dangerous. <laughs> I wouldn't trust her. Yeah, you don't turn your, don't turn your back on Amanda. It's true. She has she has the flashlight and everything. And she's hey, look! Brian's got a peacock. Oh, okay. oh, wow. And a peacock noise. All right. My life is now complete. <laughs> oh, it would be a podcast without the peacock. So we'll probably look at Hizzle at some point. So let's see how everybody's weeks are going. Jay Hizzle, how's it going in vacation land? Good. The week has been good so far. So um, I'm currently in the Wisconsin Dells visiting with one of my best friends, Amanda. If you and... didn't know it, he looks like someone who is with one of those uh, hidden anonymous secret tip thingies. Yep, I mean, whatever the protective service. There you is. go, protective service. When is protection? All you gotta do is distort your voice, so uh, you know. So, we were at Mount Olympus yesterday, and pretty much had the whole place to ourselves. The light behind them. Can you see? Can you see? Can you see my silhouette? So we were at Mount Olympus yesterday, and we got to ride roller coasters, and we did a bunch of go karting. And I'm a very violent go-karting person, even though they were kind of slow. And then we did water slides. And we also went in this cool wave pool. And we did a bunch of kayaking today and hiking. I watched your Snapchat. 
And by the way, we also know you're a very violent person. Do you not remember the go-karting trip when we were all in Wisconsin? I almost got kicked out of go-karting because I was trying to pass Amanda and I spun her out. But I didn't pull it off well enough because she stopped me as well. I got Congratulations. Stuck in front of him. You are now the worst NASCAR driver yeah. in America. What happened? Uh, actually, I think there's one person worse, but we'll get into that later. Boy, I hope she's, I don't she's trying to tell you what happened. Like, choose your words carefully. Are you, guys, are you even paying attention? What? So, he spun me out, yep. and he got stuck behind me because I spun out, and I was like facing downhill against the thing. And the dude couldn't even push me out, and he called me fat. <laughs> He did. He's like, he pushed me and then tried to push her. I'm like, I can help. And he's like, no, she's heavy. And called someone else over. But she's not heavy. It's just how her well, car like, was. She's your heavy. <laughs> he, doesn't have a, he doesn't have a girlfriend. She <laughs> clearly. Uh, but yeah, otherwise, um, that has you know been the highlight of my week. And then I'm going to Eau Claire tomorrow to see some other friends from Wisconsin. Awesome. Be slow. Be slow. Going. We see you with the peacock, and we see you with your plant. Tell us how your week is. Patrick. And plant is Patrick. Oh. Yeah, I'm Patrick. Hi, Patrick. All right. Is smaller? Is he dying? Did you kill some of them off? Oh, Brian has a. We took fly him out of the container. Okay. And it ate a fly. There, and Chelsea though. did kill one. She fed a fly to it, and it closed on. And it didn't eat it, and it died. Murderer. <laughs> All right. So how's your shed going? Uh, you know that picture I sent you with a frame put together? That's as far as you got. That's where it's at. I went to start building the walls that said you needed a table, and I didn't feel like getting the saw horses out, so I said I'll just call it a night. So I got shed parts scattered across my yard and a frame put together. Huh. So that's fun. I helped put part of that together. Only like 20%. Yeah. Our kids jumped in the pool together. Yeah, Rick felt like left in my yard. And I ate some food this week. That's and, my uh, week. And uh, you're molesting the back of a stuffed peacock, so you're doing great. Do you normally not eat food sometimes during the week? Oh, I always eat food. Well, okay. see, that's how my week was going. Well, see, from the keto diet to the Cheeto diet to the seafood diet. So I had keto today. I found a mac and cheese place yesterday, and it had all different mac and cheeses. And I had mac and cheese with lobster, and Amanda had mac and cheese with like chicken and ranch. Oh man! Ironically, it was called Max. Max because yes, they were both so good. I want to go back to the Y bar when it's half off again. Not yeah, we'll have to do that sometime. That was nice too. They have a in Kalamazoo. They have a buffet that you actually make your own mac and cheese. You choose the noodles, the cheese sauce, all the toppings. It's pretty awesome. Texas, what's going on in your neck of the woods? Uh, it's not been a good week, but you know, personal personal issues. Other than that, I have seen a cow outside of its fence twice this week eating grass on the other side of the yard. <laughs> He just decided to go for a neighborhood stroll. That's fine. I killed a about a five inch long centipede yesterday. Well, it's better than a scorpion. Centipede. But see, that's why Texas wouldn't be for me. I'd die. You're gonna die from you live in Australia, Jay. You really would die. Yes, I would die in Australia. Everything wants to kill you there. Maybe. Other than that, that it's it's just been a week. I'm sorry I hear that's been a little crazy. But we love yep. you. Yep. Just remember all those positive quotes that you always have. Oh, yeah, you can make it strobe and stuff. Yeah, but I didn't even push anything. Oh, you, you have to push it. You don't yeah, push it before. Did you just say you can make it stroke itself, Jay? Is that what you said? That's what it sounded no. like. My flashlight. You can, you can make, make it strobe. It strobe. What's going on in the dark there, Jay? What can't we see? Oh, man. Hand oh, check. Man. Hand Ooh. check. Yeah, yeah, you know, this brings up uh, my wig. Way up here. Are, where, are you guys in the loop on Chatterbait? Not until you told me about it today. Nope. 
Okay, so there's this website called Chatterbait, and I guess you can host yourself or you can get on uh, other webcams and uh, you can watch people do stuff with themselves or other people. That's weird. It is. So, like, so you could pay to watch someone watch TV? Um, that was my thought, too. Is, is, it, is it weirder than the video I sent you a little bit ago, Rick? Pretty close. So, um, I tried to close out my web browser the other day, and I forgot oh. that Pornhub was still on there because, you know, random Pornhub comments. Sure. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Sometimes the pop-up blocker yeah. doesn't Amanda work doesn't believe it. that. That's why you have the Pornhub account. Nobody believes it. Pretty much. Anyways. <laughs> Um, sometimes when you go to try to click out, it'll have a pop-up pop-up, and it popped up for Chatterbait, yeah. and uh, I got really confused because there was this girl, and she just happened to be playing with herself, but she was on a park bench next to an old lady. So, like, when you say playing with herself, was she, like, just playing with, like, toys, like, um, action um, figures, or just, like, Game Boy? We can call them action figures. At one point, she did have a toy, yes, Jay, since you, you want to ask. But I was so dumbfounded that I watched it for, like, a good solid five minutes because I couldn't understand how she's doing this uh -huh. in park next to an old lady. And the old lady just oh, sitting took him a five minutes. He was so dumbfounded that he didn't file it under favorites. I didn't follow Only it. five minutes? Feels five minutes, fifteen minutes. You know, there's a five in there. Mm -hmm. I wasn't trying to get off. I was trying to figure out how the hell she's doing this next to this. You grandma. were trying to get off. Nah. <laughs> yeah, good old Rick Spade. What else? Okay. I'm not the one trying to get laid today. Jay. <clears throat> Anyways. Wow. He went there. I did. He totally went there. This is my show today, so. There's definitely well, some head shaking going on. Everybody got quiet. Since uh, since Jay Hizzle is hiding in the dark with a female, I'm hiking I downstairs. Guess, can you see him? Yeah. We can't see a damn thing on your camera. <laughs> I guess awful. I'm in charge of news this week, and I only have one news thing that I've been dying to share since Tuesday. Right. Share. Did Rick tell us how his week is going? We did. We were talking about chatterbait. Yeah. All right, go. Let's see. What First off, I would like to iterate. I did not go looking for this story. This story found me on Facebook. All right. <clears throat> San Francisco police interrupts sex party involving midgets, emus, a fountain of sperm. 71 arrested. Emus wow. and a fountain of sperm. <laughs> That piqued my curiosity. Emus. The like, San Francisco, the San Francisco Police Department interrupted an extremely lewd party early this morning in a luxurious residence of the Prestudo Heights neighborhood, arresting seventy-one people and seizing two boars and eight emus. Boars, the, boars, the, the pig. <laughs> According to the San Francisco Police Department spokesman, officers were dispatched on the scene around 4 a.m. this morning after some neighbors complained about loud music and wild animals running in their yards. The first policeman who arrived described the scene as a mix between an orgy and a circus freak show, and immediately called for backup. So, be slow. This is where I want your expertise. What would you do if you came across a scene like that? Nope. I'd be like, nope, not today. <laughs> would you just leave? I'd be okay. like, I mean, I need everybody here, so I don't have to do paperwork. <laughs> is that a code nine nine? Okay, so, the story continues. It seems it was a thematic sex party for people with strange fetishes. They had midgets, a bearded woman, wild animals, and a large outdoor fountain filled with 50 gallons of semen. How is that impossible? 
And Amanda Does was it? wondering if that's really illegal. Yeah, why did they get arrested? Why did they get arrested? Are you not allowed to have you? Hang, hang on. Hang on. Oh, it's it's in the story. Reality. Yeah. <laughs> Dozens of San Francisco Police Department officers were called on site to put an end to the party and regain control of the uh, can gain or regain control of the total of over 500 guests and catch the wild animals. It was an extremely delicate operation. Hundreds of naked people trying to flee with emus, boars with ball gags in their mouths. Running down the road, it was a very chaotic scene. <laughs> what a crazy scene. I would have loved to actually respond to that. I want to see the foot. Yeah, I want to see the body cam from that one. I've been like, oh my god, this is going to be my call of my career right here. I don't so know what the funniest thing that ever what happened. Laws, well, what laws are actually broken? More than and there, there's a little more here. It. Okay. it it took hours for police to sort out things out and identify everyone. A total of 71 people were arrested on various charges. 31 of those arrested are minors simply charged with underage drinking. But some, uh, some accusees face much more serious accusations. 17 people are accused of bestiality and animal cruelty after the police found a video showing them having sex with the animals and faced jail time up to 15 years. Well, that's that is what we call a clusterfuck. So what are you, what are you in for, Bob? I raped emu. Emu fucking. Uh. I'm not going to lie. I would have loved to have been an officer there and see someone go running down the street with a ball gag in her mouth. Man, you're not supposed to run with nothing in your mouth. You might choke. I thought you were going to tell me you were Don't, don't, don't run out in public. That's another crime. <laughs> Just watching a midget try to do a boar or wow. an emu would be freaking hilarious, too. A bearded woman with the emu and a boar. I really can't remember. And midgets. <laughs> with a midget on top. Again, I would like to iterate. I found that one found me on Facebook. I did not go looking for that one. So what are you looking you know, at with that ass? Yeah, Facebook here. searches that kind of stuff. One of uh, one of the groups I'm in, someone shared that, and I was like, "Oh my god, that is awesome!" What the hell? Do you know where they're sharing? Hey, hey. Weird oh, back. The weird thing is, animal sex. Nope. It was a it was a band's Facebook page. And someone shared that to the band's Facebook page. That's great. Uh the band would be called Hailstorm. Oh, I know Hailstorm. You said Hailstorm? Ale. Like the oh. like the alcohol oh, Hailstorm. They basically describe oh, themselves hey. as heavy hail. metal pirates. Heavy metal pirates. Hailstorm. No fucking. Yeah, you know, someone on the someone in the fans page shared that, and I was like, "That is too good not to share." I do bad for that prosecutor <laughs> that watched that video. Here is your video. Here is your video. I feel bad for Jay because I see him trying to comment, but <laughs> yes, poor Jay. We lost Jay. Again. That's okay. We just got a frozen picture of his face on my end. That's fine. <laughs> this is worse than Josh in the uh, hotel. <laughs> Jay, the sad thing Wi-Fi is, the sad thing Wi-Fi. is, the hotel had Wi-Fi. The forest yeah, normally does not have Wi-Fi. No. <laughs> okay, well, Jay Hizzle might be back. He might not. Either way, this is still the Pod Damn Idiots podcast. Um, and we can do it without him. That one idiot. So, uh, in other regular news, they uh, banned gyms from opening up almost hours before they were supposed to open up here in Michigan. This is me off. Mommy Whitler. Yeah, they're uh, they're closing parks down here in Texas again. Why? Uh, because our COVID thing spiked big time because people were tubing and not social distancing and 
fucking here in San years. Marcos alone, we went up like 400 cases in two weeks. Because the hospitals are running out of money. <laughs> yeah, hospitals are running out of money. They need more cases. And no, Rick, we were not banging emus. Whatever, I'm not here to... Or more, or bearded women. Well, bearded bearded maybe a midget. What's the midget, you guys? Yeah, I can see that. <laughs> Is that like fucking a, a sack of potatoes? I made that joke once. Do you remember that? We, we were yeah, hanging out with Jesse Bright. Someone needs to get another one. What? Remember when we used to hang out with Jesse and we made that joke about the midget and the potato sack? No. Okay. All right. Any other fun news stories? That was the only one I had, and I've been dying to share that one since Tuesday. Oh, I got a chop update for you. The terrorist. Chop, Chaz. Yep, Chaz, chop, chop, Chaz. No mas. Okay. Okay. I'm trying to. I, I like how she's in the background. Remember, keep calm. <laughs> I tried to say that quietly. Apparently, yep. the, it's the okay. Mayor it's okay. The city is taking back Chopper Chaz because of the murders. You mean the mayor finally grew up there? Mm-hmm. They got tired of all the violence, the murders, and the shootings in a police-free zone. Oh, his balls dropped. My yeah. uh, my favorite part of that is the the. People in there were upset that the police and the ambulance didn't get there to help the person who got shot. Well, you they wouldn't tried. let them through. They, they tried hard. Or how about the fact that you took over the police precinct and stole their shit? Had to piss them off a little. They tried to get in. They formed a uh, a nice uh, uh, like barricade of cops and tried to push through, and they ended up surrounded and had to retreat. <laughs> And the chop well, chat people totally destroyed the crime scene, and they wonder why no one's been arrested because one, nobody's talking. People have thought no one's going to talk. But oh, wait a second. Two, are the crime scene's been completely destroyed. Evidence is completely gone. Aren't these the same people that want to get rid of police because police are racist and bad, and all they do is kill people? Summer of love, man. Summer of love. Funny and then they killed each other. But. First one they call. Chop update. It's going to be gone soon. Terrorist. <laughs> Rick, uh, Rick, I know gone. this is kind of short, short notice. Do you have a game you want the three of us to play? <laughs> Who is your daddy and what does he do? Oh, I was thinking we might as well play bad people. Okay. The three of us? Sure, why not? Well, okay, well, I can't Jay Hizzle for all of them. Jay Hizzle for all of them. I don't care what it is. I can be your guest star. I'll play. Chelsea will play. Okay, that works. Poor Chelsea. All right. Uh, I changed my answer. Chelsea for all of them. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we know how this game works, but for the people that are just watching on episode eight, what the fuck are you doing? Go back to the other episodes. Watch what we've been doing. Why would you start at eight and go down? This isn't the Star Wars. Start over. Find bad people. So what we're going to do is I'm going to pick a card. I'm going to read what it says. We're going to vote. Which one of the four of us, plus Jay Hizzle, because he's not here, and we'll even throw Amanda in there, too. I was going to say, let's throw Amanda in there, too. We'll decide. We'll vote. Who? This card uh, relates to. So we'll start from the good pile first, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. Most likely to say, I'm not racist, but. <laughs> um, that's probably not a good one to start with. I'm going to go with Chelsea. <laughs> okay, I'll go with Chelsea too. <laughs> Way to save your guys' ass. All right. No, it's me. Okay. Why not? All right. From the not safe for work pile, I'll do this how many times I want. All right. Ready? Pick it from the middle here. <laughs> uh oh. That's got to be a good one. It's not often Rick, Rick blushes. 
You, you're matching your wall back there, Rick. I already know who we're going to have to pick, but it's fine. In their lifetime, who has swallowed the most cum? Justin. <laughs> Justin. Poor Jay. He ain't here to defend himself. <laughs> Sorry, Jay Hizzle. Wow. We love you, Jay. I feel so bad when he gets the audio of this. <laughs> you know, don't tell him, guys. Don't tell him. <laughs> We love you, buddy. Even well, he was the prison bitch. I got people looking at me funny. All right, if we were all hitchhikers, who would be the last person to get picked up? Picked up like probably, how? Probably like, me. Like the last one to return? Like the last, like, if we were all hitchhiking down... The last the person road, to get a ride. Who would be the last person to be like, oh, that we're not picking him up? Oh! Jesus. I'll pick Josh. I would, Rick, you haven't picked anybody yet. I would say me, but I have those, so. Yeah. Yeah, I don't, gonna, I don't have those. Josh. I will pick old Texas there. What? Why are you throwing cups at me? Oh, no, Nick Ball. Wait. I think he's back. You should yeah. change your name away from your daddy's name, though. Oh, it's too late for him now. <laughs> oh, they don't see it anyways. It's just on here for our purposes. Oh, okay. I think I hear them. Yeah, you're going to like the audio when you listen to it. <laughs> what? <laughs> you're going to love us. We're playing bad people. I'll hit you. Oh, nice. Yeah. You're going to love us. <laughs> yeah. We're you for something, but we're not going to tell you for what. We, we, we've also, oh, okay. We've also included you and Amanda in this. So, uh, and Chelsea. And the voting. We're only like three cards in, though, so he didn't miss much. Oh, okay. Manny can vote, too. Sure. Sure, until we lose you again, why not? All right. We're doing from the not safe uh, word work pile. Who is most likely to have sex with their cousin? It got awfully <laughs> quiet. <laughs> I don't think any of I will only I don't know what his pick was. But I'll choose Rick, but he'll make sure it's like a fifth or sixth. <laughs> I don't even think I know any of my cousins. Mm. So you wouldn't know anyway. <laughs> That'd be scary. I'm going to go uh, for Amanda just because. Well, I'm changing. I can't hear her. Uh, so. she's changing her uh, answer to the princess. Uh, uh, Chelsea, who are you picking? Oh, Chelsea picked Rick. I don't know why everybody picks me. You didn't pick you for one of them. All of us, so that's yeah, what we're saying. And you don't know your cousins. So. And you don't know who your cousins are. <laughs> Uh, I don't know if you guys can hear them, but I can't. <laughs> they sound yeah, choppy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Probably are. We're out in the middle of nowhere. In the middle of nowhere. Well, whose fault is that? Yours. All right, from the good pile. You're just a sex they said you fuck your cousin. Whatever. <laughs> Most likely to say I love you too early. I'm going with Justin. Jay Hazel. Justin. Justin. Just he, no Unanimous way. Justin. He's so naive in the ways of love. If, if he could hear us, I'd be like, the, uh, never mind. I'm not going to say it. I'm I don't know if he can hear us, today. I think, I think they might be frozen know. again. Yeah. Well, if they are, they'll come. There's back. alien lights in their little camera thing, so I think. That's what I see. Well, government did say you are Jay's been abducted. Anal we'll probing today. time. Okay. Out of the, I don't know how many people there are now because I can't count. Who is the laziest sexual partner? I can tell you right now, I'm not the one getting the vote for this. <laughs> Josh. <laughs> Why not? We'll go with me. 
Okay, Josh. I haven't voted for you yet, so you get one too. <laughs> Ladies, though, it ain't true. <laughs> That's what he does. And if you want to see him roll his R's on you, you can reach him at Pod Damn Texas on Twitter. Just the FYI, I used to eat pudding cups without using a spoon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I still do, actually. I'm glad go that I took over up. this podcast for the day. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll do a couple more because we ain't got really anything planned here for today. We're just a win putting things together. Well, I can go into sports later, but you know. We will. Yeah, I'll, yeah well, I'll let you talk about the sports later. Yeah, I won't get into it. In their lifetime, who is most likely to perform sexual acts for money? I'm going with Rick Spade. I Rick. 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 Rick's probably already done it. Shut up. We don't talk about that. <laughs> he was young and needed gas money. <laughs> and he wasn't that big. <laughs> Yeah, you're right. I was 170 pounds then. <laughs> you know, the sad part is that was from the actual regular pile. That was from the not safe from work pile. <laughs> All right, from the not safe from work pile. Uh, the 2 a.m. call I get from jail tonight is from who? It could be me. I just arrested somebody, and I'm like, hey, Rick, what's up? Rick. <laughs> I've never been in trouble in my life. Yet. You know what? I'll go with Amanda on that one. I was going to go with Chelsea. Brian, would you arrest Chelsea? Uh-huh. Who said he hasn't? Mm -hmm. I heard that story earlier today. We're just going to skip the handcuff key story. Anyways, moving on. <laughs> yeah, that's for real handcuff and key. <laughs> like, we have one upstairs for a different reason. You don't want to use it. Who has had sex in the most random place? Rick Spade. <laughs> Actually, I was going to go with the. Uh... Be slow and Chelsea there on that one. Uh, I've not done it in a sex shop. Yeah. That's no, but there is right. a certain parking lot I remember. That's not random. That's true. That's true. We did a church parking lot. Okay, I wasn't going to say which building it was. I did it behind the Peter Piper's Pizza. <laughs> did Peter get a Piper of the pizza? No, but somebody came out of that Chinese restaurant while I was in the middle of doing it to throw some trash out. So, were you like, "Hey, okay, I'll give it to I'll give it to no. Luke on that one." I was sixteen. I don't remember what the hell I was doing. I ought to be young again. So, kind of like now. We're old. Yeah, it is what it is. I'm the youngest one here of all of us. I am the youngest. Well, except her, if you include her right now. But the, I am the uh, oldest. You are. You, then Rick, then Jay, then me. Wait, how old is Amanda? Like 25 or something. Then she's Jeff. the youngest. We're seeing that on the screen or anything. Okay. Out of everybody, who is the happiest when people they know don't succeed? <laughs> People they know don't succeed. Yeah, so, like, say you hate somebody and you find out they're in jail, like you're extremely happy about it, or Chelsea. Chelsea. Okay, I'll go with Chelsea. Me. All right, this is going south awfully quickly. Most likely to get drunk. Train wreck speech at a wedding. Say what? Who's most likely to give a drunk train wreck speech at a wedding? I will do it at Brian's. A drunk train wreck speech. What will we say? Because he's funny. Even drunk, sober, no matter what. I don't think I've ever seen either of you two drunk. You have. You just didn't know it. I've seen you drunk. Yeah. Rolling around on the floor at your parents' house with Jesse Bright. I need poo. 
Oh my god, I forgot about that. <laughs> Poon. <laughs> I forgot about that. So I guess it would be me. I vote me. You're gonna give a trade wreck speech at your own wedding? No, or somebody else. Kelsey, I love you. I remember the first time we did it. <laughs> in, the church, in the church parking lot. What was the wrong <laughs> No. Next. Right. We'll do two more. Which which one was that from? Uh, I don't know. Okay, I got it. No, I already know the answer to that one. We're just going to skip that one. It's you, isn't it? No, it's you too. What is it? Who has the largest sex toy collection? <laughs> Those two. <Yeah. laughs> Have I showed you guys our buffet? No, I don't need to see the buffet. No one wants to see that on this podcast. I'm trying to gain viewers, not lose them. Bad enough last week, your cat's asshole made its appearance at least twice. Oh, yeah, I'm sure it did. Uh, we'll go. All right, I'll, I'm good with this one. Most likely to stick a roll of quarters up their ass on a dare. I'm going with be slow. <laughs> Josh. <laughs> Jay Hizzle. <laughs> Who did Chelsea go with? I show with you like always. I think she with Rick. I feel so loved. I don't think I got the buffet picture anymore. Thank God for that. Like Do you have the buffet picture, Chelsea? No, I've never sent it to me. I deleted it because the kid you liked to look it. at it. Can't you get into your deleted photos? No, they automatically delete it oh. for like two days. Mine deleted after 30, so. All right, two more. We did that one a couple weeks ago. I think we did that one too. Son of a bitch. Did we do the glitter one? The, 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 <laughs> most likely to blow glitter in your face and disappear. Yes, we did. Yes, Son we did. of a bitch. All right. Let's shuffle these some more. I got three in a row that I know we did. And the most... stack is literally that big, so I don't know how the fuck that's possible. Most likely to attend a sex party like in San Francisco. <laughs> Most likely to get upset playing bad people. <laughs> Rick. Rick. Because every time you were like, oh, yeah, he's going to have sex with an underage minor. Oh, he's going to do this. <laughs> Fuck all y'all. Yeah. I guess you can go with me. School bus taxi. Actually, that was like the one card I had gotten earlier, and I was like, why the fuck does this one keep popping up? I was like, we'll just put that back in the middle somewhere. All right, last one. No, we did that one last week, too. God damn. Gosh darn. You don't censor me. When it comes to sex, who is the most orally disinclined? Orally, Jay. 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 I don't even. I don't even think he'd understand what orally is. He's like, is that when you talk to somebody about sex? And is that when you verbally, uh, verbally communicate? I don't know. You guys give Jay a bunch of shit, but on the inside, he could be laughing. Going. Maybe he's a closet freak and we don't know. They have no idea. Maybe he went to town on the midget blow up. Who knows? <laughs> he could be going to town on Amanda right now. <laughs> I'm going to hell, I know. I'm sorry, Jay. This is what happens when you... Uh, you know what? He'd probably be like, you're right. We are going to town. I'm taking her to the hotel. Like we're driving down the road toward town. Uh, all right, so that was bad people. 
I don't even know what we normally do during this show anymore. And we are all very bad people. The, the uh, title of this episode is Bad People. All right. I know normally we do a top five, but with Jay not being here, I don't feel like that would be fair. I'm still willing to do top five. I haven't written mine down, so I can talk my way through them. I mean, we can do it. I don't really care. But you're always going to make us talk next week. And we're going to change our answers or do this whole damn thing over again. That's all right. There's there's lots of Disney movies. You don't have to do the same top five. Okay, so uh, diddly 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 five. I don't remember how the fucking theme song goes. This week's top five is top five Disney movies. All right, so what is your top five Disney movies, your favorite five? Could have been any of the Disney movies we decided, Marvel, Star Wars, regular Disney movies, cartoons, live action, whatever your preference is. So uh, let's start with... We'll uh, start with Rick. Okay, sure, why not? I don't actually have a top five. I'm winging this as I go. That's what I'm going to do. You actually wrote yours down. No. I was trying to skip it because I didn't do shit it. I have mine written down. I'm more than willing to do the, my top five. Go ahead, Texas. I'll make it up okay. in the next 30 seconds. So, since we're doing Disney and Avengers and Star Wars are now considered Disney because they've been purchased, they are my honorable mentions. I did not put them in the top five. So, top five is Finding Nemo slash Finding Dory. I put them together because I like both those movies. Same with my number four, Incredibles, one and two. Number three, Wreck-It Ralph, and Ralph Breaks the Internet. Number two, about the Jamaican bobsled team, Cool Runnings. And number one, Mr. Aladdin, sir, what will your pleasure be? Aladdin, pretty much only because of Robin Williams as the genie. I am the genie of the lamp. And I refuse to watch the live action one. Will Smith, I apologize, but you are trash compared to Robin Williams. But if you look, if you watch it as a separate movie, not saying that it has to be like the Aladdin, then it's really good. Yeah, watch it as its own movie. I was the same way. Aladdin's my favorite Disney movie. I was so terrified to watch the live action. Don't All watch right. it. I will give so it a chance this weekend. Today. And it, it's good. Just got to remember, it's not Aladdin. It's, it's got its a, own it's new its own movie. thing. Yep. Okay, I will give it. A, I will give it a try this weekend. It was definitely different. Well, I, I, I liked it though. Who wants to go next? I, I guess I can try. Okay. We'll put number five as Lion King. In the words of Yoda, "Do or do not. There is no try." I'll do number four, Star Wars, because Disney did make. Star Wars movies. Yeah, and so that's why I make them number four. Plus, well, the four, five, and six are clearly the best. But they just bought those. But I'm going to go number four. I'm going to go Pirates of the Caribbean is three. That's good. I like that. Um, I'm probably going to do Moana as two. I am Moana. It's, You're welcome. It's basically because of the rock. That's why. I love The Rock. And my number one is going to be Cool Runnings. The Jamaica bobsled team. All right. Mr. Ricky Spade, what you got, sir? Well, I don't know if you really call this a Disney movie, but I remember getting it from Blockbuster all the time. It was a movie called Where the Toys Come From. <laughs> It was about these two toys named Zoom and Peepers, and they went back. They come from Chelsea's bottom drawer. God, I hope not. That's a whole other movie. Under the bed. <laughs> that actually wouldn't be a bad name for one. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, they had, one, uh, they had these two uh, toys named Zoom and Peepers, and they wanted to know where they came from, so they ended up going backwards, ended up in the toy store. Yeah, they went back to the place where they were made, and they showed where the toys came from. It was like an hour long. So that was one of my favorites when I was younger. So that's my number five. My number four, I would have to go with Aladdin. I really like Aladdin. So it's in my top five. It's not, you know, all the way up there. My number, uh, 
three is Moana. I like make Moana. way, make way. You're welcome. It, it was nice to actually see other people doing um, song and dance stuff for uh, Disney movies because I feel like they get away from that sometimes. Um, my number two, I would have to go with the Toy Story series. I was a big fan of Toy Story. I loved Rob, uh, Rob Williams. See what you made me do. Tim Allen and Tom Hanks. And I really liked when uh, they had Kelsey Grammer in the second one. But uh, my number one would have to be Lilo and Stitch. It's Orhana means family. Orhana means nobody's left behind or forgotten. Definitely like Lilo and Stitch. Oh, that's shiny. You're going to quote it all. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that was my top five. If you want to tell us your top five Disney movies, you can tell wait, us wait. that. There's one more person in the camera frame who has not given their top five. Oh, oh Chelsea, do you want to give your top Disney five? Movie. Oh, that's And she rough. is in love with Disney stuff. So that she is can do it. very rough. On the fly. That's what she said. <laughs> um, well, you already... You know, my number one is Aladdin, because we talked about that. Um, probably the... I like the new live-action Beauty and the Beast. That would probably be number five. Um, Finding Dory. Wasn't real hip with Finding Nemo, but I like Finding Dory. Hank is my favorite. Um, Everyone loves an octopus. Septopus. Septopus. Seven legs. So, we already did my number one, so I've got two more, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Three um, and two. Probably Moana and then the Frozen and Frozen 2. Okay. And we're just going to guess Justin's. Uh, it, Justin's is Mulan. Um, Tangled. The Princess Tangled. Frog. Princess Aladdin. Frog. And <laughs> Little Mermaid. That was only four. T number one, Cinderella, right? Cinderella? Cinderella. Cinderella. Yep, Cinderella. Cinderella, Cinderella, and then it's Cinderella. <laughs> and let's see, Amanda's will be uh, Hercules, then Pocahontas, then High School Musical, then <laughs> Aristocrats. Then Hunchback of Notre Dame and uh, The Bridge to Terabithia. Terabithia. I actually like that movie. Terabithia. <laughs> that was a Disney movie? Yeah. You probably got a list. I, 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 googled, I googled Disney movies and it popped up. So, yeah. So That's Justin and Amanda's provided by us. All right. So, if you want to tell us your top five, you can uh, tell us on Twitter at PodDamnIdiotsP1 or... Pod damn Texas or Pod damn Rick Spade. Use the hashtag top five. All righty then. Well, I guess I will go into sports since we're on a crazy train today. Nobody knows what the hell's going on anymore. But what's going on in the sports world? Oh, let's see. Golf had another <laughs> golf had another tournament this past weekend, and it was won by a gentleman by the name of Webb Simpson. He won one million two hundred and seventy-eight dollars. The person who came in last place after making the cut made thirteen thousand. $916. I really wish you would have paid more attention to golf because you know he also probably made a buttload of money in sponsorship. I could play golf badly enough. I could, I could make the last one to make the cut. Yeah, that'd be good. Happy Gilmore with Subway. <laughs> hey, Happy, can I get one of those? Coming right up. All right, moving on. We finally, finally have some good news when it comes to baseball. After the players rejected the owners' proposed 60 games, the, they countered with 70 games, which the owners rejected. 
But then the owners unanimously voted on a agreement they had back in March, and they had decided to do 60 games. Opening day will be July 24th, and the second spring training will start July 1st. And Bobby Whitler here in Michigan today approved professional sports to begin without an audience. Moving on, UFC has a fight night on the 27th with the headlining being Dustin Poirier versus Dan Hooker and the co-main event being Mike Perry versus Mickey Gall. If I'm not mistaken, I believe these are the first or these are the last events before UFC goes to its Fight Island in Abu Dhabi. I'm going with the uh, Poirier on that one myself. I like Poirier. I wish we could all get together and watch the fight. We have to like do a Zoom fight watch because you know I live in Texas. I know we'd all have to get down to Texas or something. All right. So the world of NASCAR. Talladega was supposed to be on Sunday this past Sunday. But it was postponed to Monday due to due to the weather. The winner of the race turned out to be Ryan Blaney. Second place went to Ricky Stenhouse Jr. Third place went to Eric Alamarola. Number four was Denny Hamlin. And number five was Eric Jones. However, the big story of the weekend came from Saturday or Sunday when the race got postponed. Supposedly. NASCAR's only black driver, Bubba Wallace, found what was said to be a noose in his garage. So Monday, when they did the actual race, all of the drivers showed a lot of solidarity with Mr. Wallace, and they all pushed him up to the front of the line. The FBI was called to investigate, and upon investigation, the FBI found out that it was not a noose. It was, in fact, the garage pull-down rope that had a slip knot on the end. It is similar looking to a noose, but if you put your hand in a slip knot and pull down, it will not go around your hand like a noose would. So that was a big hoax. And Bubba Wallace went on to CNN to say, he didn't really care what the FBI said because he thought it was a noose. But Talladega has been using that setup in their garage for over a year, according to FBI and photos. Wow. Well, I'm, I'm back for a little bit. Even though we're getting closer to the city now, so I might not lose you. Told you but, he was taking uh, her to town. <laughs> yeah, the town of Baraboo. Baraboo? Baraboo Town? Town? Yeah. (laughs) But, um, did you you announce who won the race? I did. I actually went and did who uh, came in the fifth. I went one through five. Oh, my gosh. So, uh, Ryan Blaney's, like, one of my favorite drivers, so I was super excited. And, um, we're talking inches. The final lap. Uh, him and I think it was Stackhouse Jr. were literally inches. They had to go to the photo finish to see who won. It was it was a sweet race. And I think the third or fourth place car was spinning into when it, when it got its place. But the race was awesome. What is your take on the whole Bubba Wallace incident? I mean, obviously due to everything that's happening right now, you know, you see a, a rope that has a circle at the end, you automatically think new, apparently. I don't. So, but I know, I mean, because it's no fancy get in there, so I was thinking who on earth in NASCAR would do that? They're all really friendly, nice people. I mean, considering but, they keep their garage locked up because it is a lot of money, uh, from what I'm told, only his team would have been able to get in there. So, what the conspiracy so, theory is. Maybe one of them accidentally ripped off the bottom of the rope and didn't think anything of it and just kind of threw it in the garage. And then someone was like, oh, my God, a noose. In all fairness, I wouldn't think anything of it either. Would you? 
Yeah, I can see Jay now. I can see some of his face. That's now, what happens when he where, takes Amanda to town. Because I know what a noose looks like. It has all the little ropes around the neck, and it doesn't have that in just a little slip mat. I really don't think yeah, anybody like, would the fence would think it was a noose, but... Mm. Then again, well, yeah. news, you, can, yeah, you can adjust. Oh, uh, game Jay Hazel, uh, while you were off of air, we did do our top five in honor of you. Uh, would you like to give us your top five, considering we pretty much just ruined your top five by suggesting what we think your top five is? Yep. Did you do Disney? We yeah. did. I believe your number five. one was Cinderella. Yeah. I believe your number two was <laughs> Princess and the Frog. Number yep. three was Little was Mermaid. His, Little Mermaid. Number four was Beauty and the Beast. And no, number that was Tangled. I'm oh, sorry, Tangled. Tangled. And number five was, was Mulan. 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 That's right. That's right. These are these are Amanda's favorite movies. Um, we we picked Amanda's. Amanda. Oh, we did pick Amanda's as well. Oh, <laughs> well, we're hers. Uh, Hercules, uh, Princess and the Frog, High School Musical, High School Musical, The Bridge to Terabithia, Terabithia. Yeah. Uh, and Pocahontas. Did you decide? Did you decide that Marvel, that Avengers, and Star Wars counts? Did you go pure Disney? We they we they count. I did mine as honorable mentions. Um, I, did Star I had Wars him in his list. Star Wars movies. So, if we were to go, like, pure, pure Disney, not counting, like, Star Wars and Avengers, because they later bought them, I would probably have to go, dun, dun. I would have to go, um, is Toy Story Disney? Yeah, Toy Story yes. Disney. Yes. So, I, I really did like Little Mermaid, number five. Number four, Being the Beast. Number three, Toy Story. Number two, Lion King. And number one, obviously Aladdin, because I love Aladdin. Um, well, we had two out of the five. And, and we told Josh and that he needs to watch Avengers in. That's a totally different thing. Uh, Amanda, Amanda's going to do hers. What are your top five, Disney? Sure, she's going to start with number one, because Numbers aren't necessarily her strength. <laughs> um, Lion King, number one. That's a good one. Actually, I think that's what I said. <laughs> the Lion King is basically babysitting when I was young. Um, two, probably Little Mermaid. Told you she liked Little Mermaid. Three, Winnie the Pooh. Winnie the Pooh? Winnie the Pooh? Yeah. Yeah, that's Disney. Yeah, that's about Park. Like the China face. Hmm. He looks like the Chinese. Forever. Uh, Turns like right in half a mile. Wow, you said Aladdin, Toy Story, Shrek. Yeah, no, no. Shrek is not. Shrek is not Disney. No. Oh, DreamWorks. Mulan, Hercules. No. Name me some other Disney stuff. Frozen. No. Oh, uh, Tangled, Lilo, Pixar, Lilo and Stitch, Caribbean, High School uh, Musical, Tarzan. Yes, I like Tarzan. She likes Tarzan. Okay, that's number four. Hunchback in Notre Dame, Parent Trap, The Princess Diaries, Narnia, Bambi, Perfect. Lady and the, the Tramp, Lama. Emperor's New Groove, uh, Chicken Little, John Carter, Brother Bear, Narnia, <laughs> Treasure Planet, Sky High, <laughs> Pinocchio. She said Emperor's New Groove. Okay. Oh, who couldn't get, who couldn't argue with Cusco? <laughs> All right. Thanks for letting us do the top five with you. <laughs> You're welcome, even though we already did your top five. I, I think I'm going to stick with ours. <laughs> I like mine, but that's okay. This is a really ridiculous so. episode. Did not I or anything. We're just talking. Oh, wait, wait. Before we lose Jay Hizzle again, well, let's do uh, let's do Urban Dictionary. Okay. Here we go. Dun, 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 dun. It's the Urban Dictionary definition of the week. Take it away, Texas. Wait, Texas. 
Jay Hizzle, can you tell me what an Alaskan cowbell is? An Alaskan cowbell? Well, normally, again, if I were to go, like, actual, I would say an Alaskan cowbell is just a bell that's on a cow in Alaska. But I'm thinking that maybe it has to do with in Alaska. Well, this is going to be good. That's going to be mean. Oh, well. Look at the salmon apple. I kind of answered that. So in Alaska, the the guys and gals up there eat a lot of food, and their little kids eat a lot of food too. So they're they're very large kids. Oh, yeah, my phone is on the floor, but you can still hear me. Anyway, and so then what happens is oh hi police officer, and then what happens is um they start to lose. No, he's barely going to keep them in. No, I, yeah, because I'm trying to concentrate on an answer, and my ex is coming up in a little bit. But um, I'm thinking what they do is these larger kids, they put bells on them, so when they wander off, they can hear where they're at, and then they go and wrangle them up, and they call it a, a cowbell, a lasting cowbell. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Eskimo, okay. Hey, Eskimo derogatory now. <laughs> Be slow or Rick, do you guys have any guesses for that? No, I want to do the bonus one. So, Amanda, what do you think an Alaskan cowbell is? Oh, there we go. What is it? All right. Well, an Alaskan cowbell. When you have a girl hanging naked, head down via a harness, you then have a male do a handstand naked with his ankles locked with the girl's ankles. The man does arm squats up and down. Speed, depending on male strength, thrusting his woohoo into the female's woohoo while while squatting. His what into her what? Woohoo. His woohoo into her woohoo. You know, like ducktails. Woohoo. He said woohoo to her. Woohoo. Oh, I scared my cat when I did that. Woohoo. <laughs> <laughs> sticking the ding dong and the ho ho. Oh, kitty. <laughs> All right, but we know we can't just have one. So, cue the really bad music. Bum, 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 bum. It's the bonus bum, of, bum, 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 of the bum, bum, bum. Take it away, Texas. Okay, this one actually has two definitions that I really liked. So, we're going to see if you guys can get either of the de- definitions. Can anyone tell me what Pikachu means? <laughs> What, what it means is there's somebody inside of a dressing room and somebody's walking around and they open the gun and go, I think it's you! And then they run away. <laughs> do you want me to give it a shot? Rick, do you have a guess? So, when I think of Pikachu, I obviously think of Pokeballs. So, I think it's when you stick your dick up somebody's ass and you go, Pikachu, I choose you, and then you pull out real quick. Wow. Huh. Amanda think. Man, what do you think of Pikachu? Is? I think of the like Pikachu, like a Peking Tom thing. So. Um, what about you, Chelsea? Yeah, I, I was. I was thinking. Um, is it my turn? Yes. Yeah. I'm singing Pokemon like Pikachu, but Pikachu comes. <laughs> so Pikachu comes from a ball, right? Yeah. So maybe that's when, like, since obviously the Urban Dictionary is kind of sexual and crazy, so you know, a guy on his pants and he has his balls hanging out first, and then he's like, Pikachu, I choose you, and then bam, then his dick comes out from the ball. Wow. <laughs> Uh, Chelsea, you may be right. I apologize. I I, I really wish I could see Amanda's reaction right now. Okay. The first one that I really like, Pikachu. Something cops should yell when tasing someone. Dude, don't tase me, bro. Cop. Pikachu! <laughs> I love Ryan. That is the biggest nerd. 
<laughs> that was pretty great. That's good. The second one. Brian, you should do that. <laughs> what, what did you say in that, Taser? Taser, Taser, Taser. <laughs> pika, Pika, Pika. Yeah, I think you got <laughs> lightning shock. Pikachu! That's the last thing I've heard all week. Uh, and, and the second one, in the act of banging a female, halfway through, stick car battery cables to her vagina lips while shocking her, scream, Pikachu! That sounds bad for her. Believe it or not, as I was sitting there listening to everybody's yeah. Can can I see? Check out this. Check this out. The white. It's the White House upside down. That's kind of cool. That's what it was like when Obama was in there. <laughs> you know what's messed up is as I was sitting here listening to everybody's definitions, I I thought it would involve a car battery and testicles, and not pussy lips. Oh. So I almost gave a second answer. I I can I just see. I, I can see Brian. Brian. I can see Brian's uh, uh, body cam footage now as he tases someone. Pikachu! I mean, taser, taser, taser. It's the only thing I've like done. All right, that was the Urban Dictionary definition of the week. All right, I'm glad I was glad I was able to get that in. I will try to find. Now. I will try to find other Pokemon definitions for next week because I'm enjoying the Pokemons. I don't know why. Charizard pretty good. Charizarding. There was one. Oh man, what was the one I seen the other the other day? We're ready to go. We should go. Um, we'll just go play on it. You guys are gonna go play on something? Yeah, the water slide. The green lights on. No one's there. That means we'll that must mean that they're on, so we'll was just go Venusaur? plan fighting. The what? Uh, we were talking about Pokemon sexual definitions, and I want to say Venusauring was one of them. That's oh, something sick of a plant up your ass or something. I don't know. Justin, one. I know it'd be kind of difficult because you're driving. Do you have any tweets you want to read us this week? Um, I'm almost to the hotel, actually. going to wait a minute. So... <laughs> What, what, so what other segments are left? I'm almost the hotel. I can read a few tweets. Uh, um, tweeting and words of wisdom, pretty much. I mean, oh. I, can, I, I mean, I can make up a. Uh, a did Rick do any thing. reviews this week? Oh, I'm sure I can make something up. What did I watch this week? Oh, you know what? We'll do a review this week. That's good shit. Yeah, we'll go that one. Let, let, let's talk about the Undertaker's docu series. I finally finished that this week. And for those of you that don't know, the Undertaker is a legendary WWE wrestler of over thirty years, and uh, hey. they did a six they did a six part docu series about him, and uh, the last few years of his run, and. Uh, Spoiler, he finally retired. I mean, it's all over the news, so it's not really a spoiler. But uh, never say never. Right. He finally had his uh, send-off match that he wanted. I thought the series was well done. I thought it was nice to see uh, Mark Calloway go away from the Undertaker character and give a peek behind the curtain because you never really got that. You know. Oh, he lived the gimmick for years. Oh, you have no idea. And then just watching some of this stuff. I remember I, wa- I remember I saw him one time in Kalamazoo, and uh, it just blew me away because, you know, he wore all black. So. But uh, I really liked it. I recommend checking it out if you have the WWE Network. Um, it was really weird to see him out of his element, though. Um, real, real, quick, real quick, Rick, excuse me. I yeah. combined words there. Uh, I meant to, I meant to cover this in sports, but I completely forgot because we're kind of flying by the seat of our ball sacks here. Um, Rick, since you're, you you lived the life, you were a professional wrestler. What is your uh, thinking of 
all of these professional wrestlers who are now being called out for sexual assault and things like that because there is a pretty big list of them and the list just keeps growing oh man you know i'm kind of glad that you brought that up um and like some of them they're not they they, they're not accused of actual sexual assault but like saying things like i know uh sammy guevara and i know darby allen is accused of uh a mental or a emotional abuse or something like that yeah, one was emotional abuse. Sammy oh, Guevara happening. got accused of, uh, well, he said it, but. No, he, he, he did say it. He apologized later, but. Right, that he wanted to rape Sasha Banks. Yeah. Um, no, you have to turn for it. It'll be it, it's, it's really hard because you're trying to make it in a business. And obviously where I was at, there wasn't a lot of. Um, <laughs> there wasn't a lot of females there at the time. Um, but the females that were there, they did deal with a lot of things between certain wrestlers just because, you know, that's just what some indie wrestlers do. Some of them can be really nice. Some of them can be assholes. Some of them might sit there and hit on you because they think they can get away with it because they're a big star. Um, I think that the behavior that some of these people have done is completely unacceptable, obviously. Um. I mean, one of the well-known wrestlers, he has 15 accusations alone. 15. That, Will you text me that one off air? Because I don't know if you want to say who it is. Oh, I don't give a shit. What are they going to do? It's Joey Ryan. Oh, okay. That's not... I, I wasn't expecting that one. But he has 15 accusations against him, and it must be pretty serious because he even shut down bar wrestling. You know? Um, well, the thing that kind of... The thing that kind of doesn't seem right with WWE because they they say they take these things very seriously. They pretty much erased Gentleman Jack Gallagher from all memory of WWE. Yet they have Matt Riddle, who is also accused, still wrestling. Well, from what I've read in the in the in the sheet, um, Matt Riddle had actually talked about ahead of time about a stalker that he had for stuff that had happened in the past. And I'm pretty sure that this is the same lady that has brought up what has been going on. So th they know about everything that happened there. In terms of Jack Gallagher, it's kind of similar to the um, uh, the Rich Swan situation. He was accused, so um, I haven't opened that door once. I don't know hey. if you were, uh... You're really quiet, right? Well, it's kind of hard to uh, be loud when somebody's shit's going off, but he's been muted now. Jay Hizzle, just so you know, you are currently muted. I'm sure you can see. That's All we see is his frozen face, so we're okay. He'll be back. Oh, Anyways. there he is. You're muted, Jay, just so you know. Um, once he sits down, I'll unmute him. But anyways, uh, Rich Swan he got accused of some stuff that he um, supposedly had uh, kidnapped his girlfriend or whatever for a week, and then it turned out not to be true. Charges were unpressed, and he still got released. Um, there's other allegations for other wrestlers that are in the WWE. Some have been suspended, some haven't. I'm not basing it on their push right now. I think I'm basing it more on whether or not they've hid stuff that they've done. He's down. So, I mean. Okay. Well, just as an avid wrestling fan, I know you and I both are, and you live that life. I was just kind of curious your thoughts on that, because that list is growing daily. It is growing daily, and it's really weird how everything's been set up. And I think it's even worse that, like. Um... And I've also noticed, like, a lot of them are wrestlers from England. You know, and that's the hard part too because the age of consent over there, I believe, is 16. Why don't you Google it and find out? I probably can. I want to say the age of consent over there is 16. I think you can unmute Jaina. Hello. Hey. So, um... Hey, Jay has a picture of me behind his head. <laughs> Not the horse. The other <laughs> the one. Horse? <laughs> oh, there we okay. go. Yeah, that's what I look like when I take my shirt off. And I'm not so, saying with the abs. I'm saying I'm that way. You already saw your nipple today. <laughs> I, I didn't say it was because of the abs. I said it was because I'm that white. 
Oh. <laughs> you see how white I am. <laughs> okay. okay. It says the age of consent are currently yeah, between 14 this. and 18 in Europe. Hey, look at that. Rick just Googled age of consent in, in uh, Europe, so we were right about that one. That's funny. Cool, I, have some, I have some tweets. Oh, okay. Um, are we ready for We're still in sport? No, well, I went back because I forgot to mention that one in sports, and since Rick brought up The Undertaker, I figured I'd ask. The, uh, the uh, one thing that I want to bring up though, real quick about the allegations, though, was um, one of the people, they actually had done an apology and tried to write stuff, and I don't know if you've seen this or not, but he was basically word for word what Kobe had posted. He's laying down. I yeah. did not see that. I'll send that to you. So, was it uh, Was it Sammy? Uh, no, it was actually a certain villain. Ah, I got gotcha. you. Yeah. But yeah, so, uh, very interesting. But anyways. What, uh, All right, Jay Hizzle. What tweets do we got there, Jay? Let's do some tweets so I can go to bed. So, Chad. There's this I guy got, named Chad. I got a tweet said, for you. What? That was my tweet. Go ahead. All right. Thank you. Chad says, I just realized halfway through my date that I still had lipstick on my forehead from my mom kissing me goodbye. <laughs> I don't know. Do you, do you think a girl would think that's cute or no? Um, well, I think what girl are you with before me tonight? Me, <laughs> just my mom. Uh, I mean, she might find it cute maybe if like she picked you up for the date and she saw your mom kiss you on the forehead. Unless you're, you know, you're in your mid thirties, and then it'd be like, Jay, what is wrong with you? It's true. I don't know. There's a lot wrong with me, apparently. Apparently. Um, Dan says I have to buy our dog flowers because I accidentally called him our old dog's name. Ooh, that oh, one. yeah. And Conan O'Brien says, if you're missing the sensation of shaking a good friend's hand, I found that four-day-old mango has a pretty similar feel. Huh, interesting. And then um, you're probably wondering what our presidential candidates are tweeting. So um, Joe Joe Biden says this virus is not just going to disappear because you want it to, Mr. President. Listen to the experts. Take clear, concrete action. Do your job. And then Joe Biden also on Father's Day was talking about his dad. And he said, Happy My dad Mother's Day. <laughs> My dad instilled a lot in me, but perhaps most important is the belief that there's no higher calling than to be a good parent. Happy Father's Day to all the dads working to help raise our children and all our children to be honorable, generous, and kind. You know what? That's one thing that I 100% agree with, with Joe. So we found common ground. And then, um, you know, Donald Trump, he tweets every now and then. Like every now and then, by every other minute. Good by Twitter now. <laughs> you, know, and, you, know, um, you know, speaking of that, um, I've seen that he wrote Law and Order for like the 19th time this week. So now, every time that I see that, I actually put in the comments dot dot dot. He does. Yep, yeah, he put hashtag Big Bang Theory on the one I saw on Facebook. <laughs> so, um, well, Donald Trump had this to say. Big victory for patients. Federal court upholds hospital price transparency. Patients deserve to know the price of care before they enter the hospital. Because of my action, they will. This may be very well be bigger than healthcare itself. Congratulations, America. I don't know if they'll be bigger than healthcare itself, but that's a pretty good victory. He likes to pat himself on the back an awfully lot. I, I have a I have a tweet as well. My action. I can go ahead and do mine. Huh. Either after you're Arnold or not, it don't matter. Okay. And then, what the hell did I miss? What? I'm I'm sorry. Go on. And then Donald Trump also said, "Very sad to see the states allowing roving gangs of wise guys, anarchists, and looters, many of them having no idea what they are doing, indiscriminately ripping down our statues and monuments to the past." Some are great works of art, but all represent our history and heritage, both dot, 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 the good and the bad. It is important for us to understand and remember, 
even in turbulent and difficult times, and learn from them. Knowledge comes from the most unusual of places. Ooh, this is an important tweet right here. Ready? Law and order. Law and order. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. Hashtag. Misery uh, index. SVU. And then one last one from, from uh, Donald. He said, um, cases are going up in the U.S. because we are testing far more than any other country and ever expanding. With smaller testing, we would show fewer cases. <laughs> really? So, uh, I suggest we can stop testing for COVID and then nobody will have it. <laughs> I'm pretty sure if we want to get rid of cancer, we just stop testing for that too. <laughs> That's true. All makes sense for me. If we don't test for anything, America will be disease free. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All deaths are natural causes. Uh, <laughs> some of the things, I mean, I will admit he's not wrong. If we didn't test, I guess there'd be fewer cases, like confirmed. But and I got one from Arnold and then Tech can do it. But Arnold was talking about Juneteenth. Arnold says, Juneteenth is a holiday all of us should celebrate. The day that America finally ended the sin of slavery in every state. Take some time today to learn, to listen, and to find ways to help keep marching towards a better, more equal United States every day. Good old Arnold. That was has good inspirational stuff. I like Arnold. Me too. He's a good guy. Speaking of COVID, did you know that all of our phones have a COVID tracker on it? Yes. All your what? All of our cell phones. Oh. Another COVID tracker. Yeah, if you have Android, go into settings and go to Google settings. The very top thing is COVID-19. Well, like, when you drive where there's a confirmed case, doesn't your computer alert you? No. Okay, <laughs> so here's mine. And it comes, I don't know if this was the person who originally posted it, but this is the one where I've heard of it. And this is from Serena Serena Williams. I will not read this in her voice. I am sick of COVID-19. I am sick of black versus white. I'm sick of Democrat versus Republicans. I'm sick of gay versus straight. I'm sick of Christian versus atheist. I'm sick of the media. I'm sick of no one being allowed to think what they want and feel what they want or feel what they do without offending someone. I am sick of the nosy ass people who call cops when anyone does anything they don't approve of. I'm sick of blaming the whole, the whole sins. Sorry. Sick of blaming the whole for the sins of a few. We are one race, the human race. You want to support President Trump? You do, do you do you. It's your choice. You want to support Biden? Fine. Also your choice. You want to believe in God? Okay, believe in God. You want to believe in magical creatures that fly around and sprinkle fairy dust to make th- to make life better? Awesome. You do you. But stop thrusting your beliefs onto others and not being able to deal with the fact that they don't have the same exact mindset as you. Having our own mind is what makes us individual and beautiful. If you can't handle the facts that you may have a friend that is that has opposite views of you, then you are not any better than the bigots and the racists. I don't have to agree with everything you believe to be decent human being and your friend. Awesome. Well said. I like wow. it. That's very good. Nice job. Serena You're Williams, I, I don't like you in tennis, yeah. but that was a good one. That was, was it really Venus or Serena? Serena. Oh, nice okay. job, Serena. No, that was well said. Yeah. I That's kind of how I feel. I do too, completely. If you want to believe what you want, fine, but don't force it on me. Or if I don't, don't treat me like I'm the worst person ever. We can still be friends. Exactly. Yes. I got a couple ah. funny ones. Okay. Okay. All right, so this one's from Schmocks. Kid, there's a monster living in my closet. Monster, do you have any idea how expensive a studio apartment is in this neighborhood? <laughs> and then uh, this other one is from Dr. Claire Simone. And there's actually a picture of a gecko on a phone. And it says, there's a gecko sitting on the touchscreen of the phone, making calls with his tiny gecko feet. This gecko has called me 15 times, and everyone in our recent call list. Actual photo of telemarketer. (laughs) 
That's funny. <laughs> Little tiny gecko hands. I'm just going to call everybody. I think that's great. Oh, I got a joke. A limbo champion walked into a bar. He was no longer the limbo champion. Oh, was he walking in the bar? <laughs> putching or put it. Do you have any more, Mr. Rick? I got one more. Okay. This is from Adam Sirius. Me. Pimp, still not. $27 for two movie tickets? Ticket guy. Uh, we have some pretty cheap matinees. Me. Buddy, I don't care how slutty your sea cows are. All right, guys. Do we want to do our words of wisdom and end this train wreck of a podcast? This is probably oh, I got, I got, this I got some words of wisdom ever, but it's also going to probably be the most viewed one because they're going to be like, "What the fuck happened here?" Hey, um, I got, I got something. Start us off, Jay Hizzle. Never mind. Right. No, go wait. Go ahead, B. What you got? I just tell him some jokes. Oh, you have a joke. Go Continue. ahead. Tell us a joke. Oh, got to put things on anyway. What do thirsty alligators drink? Gatorade. How do tubas brush their teeth? <laughs> With a tuba toothpaste. You like that one, didn't you? <laughs> okay, words of wisdom. Go ahead. <laughs> Amanda really liked the Gatorade joke. You should see the look she had on her face. <laughs> I mean, I could tell that joke that I told earlier today, B. Huh? So I could tell that joke that I told earlier. Which one? The one when I was at your house. I forgot what it was. Tell it. The, the dad going past the bedroom. Tell it. Okay, so there's this dad, and he was going past his daughter's bedroom, and every night his daughter prays. So. She's on her knees praying, and she goes, "Good night, mommy, and good night, daddy, and good night, grandma, and goodbye, grandpa." So she doesn't think any—he doesn't think anything of it, and goes to sleep. And the next day, the grandpa dies. He's like, "Well, that's kind of weird." So he's getting ready to go to sleep, and he goes past the daughter's uh, room again, and this time he hears, "Good night, mommy, and good night, daddy, and goodbye, grandma." And He's like now he's confused and he goes to sleep and the next day the grandma dies. So now he's yeah. freaking out because you know, in the order of things have been going, he'd be next. So now he's freaking out. So he goes past the daughter's room and he hears Good night, mommy, and goodbye, daddy. So he's like freaking out. He can't sleep now. He's like almost up all night. Finally he falls asleep and he wakes up and everything's fine and he's really confused, but he's relieved. So he gets up, he's all happy, he starts going downstairs, and he goes into the kitchen, and his wife's crying. And he goes, what's wrong, dear? And she goes, you didn't hear? The mailman died. <laughs> oh, nice. Special delivery. He handles with care. <laughs> All right, those were lame ass jokes since we have really no segments this week. So let's uh let's do some words of wisdom, shall we? All right. Every day is a new beginning. Take a deep breath, smile, start again. I like that cuz you know, we definitely all have our bad days, but um every day you can try to start new. And then don't wait. The time will never be just right. Napoleon Hill said that. I'm guilty of that a lot. Of I'm trying to wait for like the perfect, everything to set up perfectly before I do things. But just go for it. We live a short life. Oh, well, apparently we all have short life ones today because both of mine are short life ones. This one comes from William Shakespeare. I heard of that guy. I'll always feel happy. You want to know why? Because I don't expect anything from anyone. Expectations always hurt. Life is short. So love your life, be happy, and keep smiling. Just live for yourself. And before you speak, listen. Before you write, think. Before you spend, earn. Before you pray, 
forgive. Before you hurt, feel. Before you hate, love. Before you quit, try. Before you die, live. You always have good ones. You find some good ones. I like it. Follow that. <laughs> and then here is my last one for this week. Life is too short. Grudges are a waste of perfect happiness. Laugh when you can. Apologize when you should. And let go of what you can. Take chances. Give everything and have no regrets. Life is too short to be unhappy. You have to take the good with the bad. Smile when you're sad. Love what you got and always remember what you had. Always forgive, but never forget. Learn from your mistakes, but never regret. People change and things will go wrong, but always remember, life goes on. It's very true. Life finds a way. It does. Yes, it does. Mine are short, but it is about life. <laughs> Abraham Lincoln? Yes, my hero, Abraham Lincoln. I thought it was Samuel Jackson. End, and in the end, it is not the years in your life that count. It's the life in your years. And you cannot escape the responsibility of tomorrow by evading it today. It's all very good. All very good. Well, I was going to do one from Elmo, but I couldn't find the one that I saved, so I'll do the one from DDP. Never underestimate the power you give yourself by believing in you. Self-respect. Big. So I think that's a good one. And then uh, I'll give you one more. Uh, if you quit now, you'll soon be back where you started. When you started, you were desperately wishing you were where you are now. Yeah. Huh. Okay, well, you'll be back where you started. Okay, I like it. I had to think about that one. That's a good All right, so that'll do it here for the Pod Damn Idiots podcast with two people in Michigan, one in Wisconsin with a brilliant picture of me behind them. Not the abs, but the whiteness. The and horse. myself in Texas. Oh, I'm hung like a stallion. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, don't forget, to, don't forget to like and subscribe to our podcast uh, at YouTube, the Pod Damn Idiots podcast, on pretty much any gosh darn podcasting place you can think of apple google spotify stitcher podbean pod chaser pod chaser uh anal beats i mean what what sorry um we're even on iheart radio now i just found that out this week we are sweet iheart radio and don't forget to mention us to all your friends, your dentist that you haven't seen in eight months, your tattoo artists, your hairstylist when you go to get your head fixed after a horrible quarantine cut, your I'll pets, your, awesome, your, pet, <laughs> your pet's veterinarian because you need to take them for a checkup because it's been a while, to the gynecologist, to your proctologist, to, <laughs> and to all the doctors in between. Don't forget to mention us to the police officer that pull you over. The looter who's stealing your TV and your boss, because God knows they want to hear about four idiots. And you can tweet the show at the Pod Damn Idiots P1, at Pod Damn Rick Spade, at Pod Damn Texas. You can email us at the Pod Damn, I don't know the email one. Someone Pod else do that. Pod Damn Idiots one. Podcast at Outlook.com. Yeah, that one. Hopefully, next week we'll be back to some normalcy with our show. I Sorry for the craziness. And just remember, it's a crazy world we live in, so hop on board the crazy train. Choo choo! Going off the rails. Oh. YouTube, we're dropping on Tuesdays. Podcast, we're dropping on Mondays. Catch us next time. <laughs>